Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of the Geek Table Talk, your source for all things nerd and geek culture. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Anthony Sterling, aka your friendly neighborhood super negro. And joining me as always is my two geeks in arms, my brothers in arms, but they are geeky as well. Starting off with the welters shake the fist shake slightly his... <laughs> can't see get off my yard <laughs> <laughs> no damn kids <laughs> mr david welty hello sir drinking from the cup of blizz not jazz kids get your mind oh, out yeah. the <laughs> get it out get, the detail get, get, make sure it's too early for that <laughs> yeah it's way too early <laughs> <laughs> youtube standards and practices will yeah, not whoa, let whoa, us too early for that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, anyway anyway and last but never, never least, the McNoob himself, Mr. Christopher McNabb, the man, the myth, the legend. Happy festival, locals. Happy festival, everybody. If you are in um, our hometown of Lafayette, Louisiana, it is Festival International Weekend. But also, if you are in New Orleans, I believe it is the beginning of... Um, Jazz Fest. As I say, it got it, moved it to is, October. That, oh wait, it got moved to October. Yeah. I, oh, okay. Well, um, happy early festival to you yeah. guys. Um, <laughs> uh, well, well, it happy, would normally be now. I just yeah. say happy, extremely early, early jazz. festival. Yes. Months yeah. of earliness. So, um, usually this is festival week, uh, weekend, uh, for us as well as New Orleans. Um, then Crawfish Festival is supposed to hit. Don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't know how you do a virtual crawfish uh, festival. <laughs> I, I'd say <laughs> everybody's for, on Zoom for, eating crawfish. For, for anyone that's not watching this, that's not from around these parts, it, it is it is the 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 advent of festivals out the wazoo yeah. kind of time. It's festival season. Yeah. Like I, you know, I've seen the corn festival. <laughs> Why do we have a corn festival? Who knows? But we have one. Um, okay. I know Boudin Festival was supposed to happen. This was the month of Boudin Festival as well. But um, the Gate on Festival. The Gate on Duck Festival. <laughs> are as, oh, Duck. Uh, oh, it's Duck Festival, <laughs> yeah. Or <I> mean, <laughs> uh, as um, I'm surprised. one of our local TV stations so eloquently put it, the Gate on Dick Festival. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Channel 10. Well. I'm looking at you guys. KLFY. Yeah, I put you on blast. Yeah. <laughs> Check your graphics. <laughs> Uh, shrimp and petroleum festival shrimp festival um i mean we have a festival for everything here in this state man i mean if 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 you can kill it cook it and eat it we're gonna celebrate it festival time we can do it right music wise zodico festival jazz festival um german fest is in october so that's gonna be happening at robert's cove hopefully you know Hopefully the Rona likes a good uh, stiff lager. This is German's beer, yeah. <laughs> it's in nice and COVID, you know. So hopefully <laughs> COVID likes a good beer. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Co- stay, stay away. We all need those. Yeah, beers. we people need to get drunk. If it's one thing about Louisiana, alcoholism uh, yeah, yeah, is real. We have drive-through daiquiri um, places for you. <laughs> we live, we live that, we live that liquor life. <laughs> you know, y'all talk about uh, tequila and blah blah blah. Nah, bitch, we live it. We live it real. To go cups, we started that. So, so yeah, it's festival season. Um, once again, you are watching episode eight of the Geek Table Talk, um, sponsored by absolutely no one. But we're okay with that because we love doing it. Well, I love doing it. I just drag these two in uh, for torture reasons. Um, Coming along. Yeah. <laughs> It's my form of reparations. They owe me. <laughs> Get in here, honkies. Get in here. I won't use the H word. But we will be talking about some um, some H word, N words, uh, F words, and a whole lot of other words um, today. But as usual, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, you're new to the channel, please, oh, please, oh, please hit that red subscribe button. It will only take a second. Uh, blue thumbs up because they are always cool and ring that bell turn the notifications to all so you'll be notified when we drop a new episode of geek table talk or movie reviews game reviews um i really enjoyed doing my outriders um demo 
uh, game videos. So those were fun. So I'm going to try and make some more. I have been playing Outriders to the Wazoo. I was about to say, speaking of Outriders. I've game, reached man. World Tier 15, yeah, buddy. Say, it's, woo! I have, I am, the, oh, but here's the That's thing. a man's world tier. That, oh, no. <laughs> There's, I didn't know this because I haven't reached the end. Because I keep seeing the videos, in game, in game, you're going in yeah. game. I didn't know you had to start the thing all over. Now there's challenge tiers, oh, great. which makes the world tiers, you know, just look oh, completely. So, so, those are, so those are baby tiers now. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm like, yeah, fifteen. I'm baby tier. <laughs> oh, that's what I say. I'm, a, I'm apparently baby tier then. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm legendary, uh, weapon hunting like crazy, and I, <laughs> I still love my um assault rifle that shoots lightning. <laughs> with every bullet so i'm just like all right i'm lighting the ass up with that but um i'm gonna try and have some more content because ladies and gentlemen the road to 1000 we are trudging along 486 subscribers right now chugga, and i want to thank chugga, every chugga. last one of them i appreciate them i love the support but let's get to 500 because the pit stop contest is still going strong we get to 500 I'm giving away a $50 gift certificate. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a joke. All you got to do is subscribe. Like I said, leave a comment on any of the videos you find on the TSWN YouTube channel. I'll read them. I respond. I love the communication. But this is my way of saying thank you it's by paying for your loyalty. <laughs> I'm going to do that. So um, like I said, once we hit 500, I'm going to have the little contest. Choose one lucky random winner. Friends, family, you are all invited to join it. It is not a guarantee that I like you enough to make you winners, but it's going to be a random drawing. I may close my eyes and point my finger. I may grab all the names and put it in a bowl. Some way, somehow, somebody's going to be a lucky winner. So definitely pass the news along to your friends. Let's get to 500, and after 500, let's move to 1,000 because that's when I can actually start making some passive income. Yes, I have a, I have a reason to do this. <laughs> so moving right along, I have thanked you, and I will thank you all again. 486 subscribers. You guys are beautiful. You guys are awesome. But definitely spread the word. Let's get to 1,000. Yaha! I don't know why I did that. So um, <laughs> it, it felt right. I, it, I felt yeah. Right. I, 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 I Howard Dean this thing. Yeah. You know, right. yeah. We're going to get to 500. Then we're going to move to 1,000 <laughs> and then 1 million. Bah! <laughs> For the youngins who don't know this, yeah. Google Howard Dean 2008. Was that the 2008 campaign? Um, that yeah, that was 2008 uh, presidential campaign. Um, the campaign that gave us the the great Barack Obama, uh, great to some, uh, the devil to others. Still love him regardless. Black man, boosh. All right, so let's see what we got. I have two special get um thanks. I really, really, really got to give these shout outs um to them because, you know, that's what I do. They give me love, I spread it back. So them, big daddy. Big. Well, you you guys are automatically get it. So drop them. It. No, I know, but but drop drop them, man. Drop man them. Throw the names out. Come on. Here we go. Um, first big special thanks is to the gentle nerds, the gentle geeks, the blurs of Geek Salad Now podcast, who so nicely asked me, invited me. Actually, I, I think I begged them. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think I begged them. No. Um, I was on one of the, um an episode of their podcast um with lady j phoenix and oh the brother is gonna hate me because i forgot his name but he's with um uh culture junkies which i implore everybody to go and follow culture junkies amazing amazing podcast they're on facebook they're on youtube they're on um twitter i believe they have a regular podcast go follow them but to the um geek salad crew I really want to thank them. We got a chance to um, wrap a taste about um, Coming to America, which I did a movie review, which you can check out here. Um, I had a wonderful time with them and I will put their YouTube channel link in the description. So please read the description and follow them. Subscribe to their channel, hit that bell, get the notifications. So when they drop new stuff, and I think they do it weekly, unlike us who do it monthly or whenever we get a chance, 
Um, I was on there late March, early April. So it was March. Whenever Coming to America came out, that's when I was on. <laughs> and we got a chance to talk and um, some amazing guys. I'm going to try and get them on um, an episode very, very soon. So next special thanks. If you are into the cannabis realm of edibles, as well as wanting to learn how to cook, check out the amazing and lovely Miss Pretty Kitty of Pretty Kitty Edibles, Arizona's own amazing edible delectables. Yeah, she didn't pay for this. This is free ads. I don't care because she's an amazing person. Um, you can check her out. I'm putting her YouTube link because the cool thing about her YouTube she shows you how to make delicious meals and delicious treats using the devil's lettuce. Yum, yum. Get you some. So check out Pretty Kitty. I'm also put her IG so you can follow her. And if you're in Arizona, which we are not, check her out, man, because it's, it's legal there, I believe, as well as in LA. Get let her be your supplier of delicious edibles and treats. So, Miss Pretty Kitty, shout out to you. Special thanks to you, as well as the Geek Salad Now podcast. And now, on to the show. You know what? I forgot how to contact me, but guess what? The contact information will be on the screen, but I'll say it anyway. On Twitter and Instagram, I'm at Madness3030. If you want to email me, you want to sit and chat, I haven't checked my emails in a while, but I don't think anybody's really caring. Oh. It's heyyoant77 at gmail.com. Twitch, I am coming. I promise you. I am going to start streaming gameplay mm -hmm. there soon. I want to do it on Facebook, but I found out you have to use OBS Studio. So I'm still training myself to understand that. And yes, dog, he knows the pain of um, <laughs> OBS Studio. So once I get that down pack, I will be streaming on Facebook, but definitely on Twitch because I can do it from the PlayStation 5. Thank goodness. And um, you may or may not see my beautiful face, but you will hear my melodious voice because uh, I'm seriously going to be playing some Outriders. And when things get crazy, I'll probably start singing show tunes and theme songs to uh, 1970s and 80s television shows because that's what I was raised on. So be prepared. <sighs> The real good. Layoffs. <laughs> good time, easy credit ripoffs, and I may sing it like a lounge singer. I don't know yet. I might be some Richard Cheese up in here. I don't know. It's gonna come in. It, it, this is hey, <laughs> well, we're moving on up to the east side, and that's it. So I'm not getting sued, not by anybody that runs the Jeffersons. So now this is the part of the show where. I show more love to our viewers with viewer comments. Comments, 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 comments. And for our first comment comes from France. That is the person's name, not oh. from the country. I was like, damn, I like him. <laughs> <laughs> but she is also known as Miss FJP of the K-Pop Chronicles uh, podcast, who I will say definitely give them a listen. They're on hiatus right now. So um, go ahead, backtrack, listen to, I think they did 10 or 12 episodes. Got me into K-pop. I'm not going to lose my shit if I see BTS. I don't even know them children. Um, but the music <laughs> is actually pretty damn good. Um, and she's a good friend of mine. So she got me listening to uh, K-pop music, uh, BTS and... Um, a few other groups, which I, I I can't, I won't even try to say their names because like, I might. There's nothing up. wrong with it, man. Look, you you can swoon a little. It's okay. I mean, you know, <laughs> when I see those, you know, those handsomely groomed yeah. boys, you know, which, I might which they be, are, man. You know, they, you yeah, <laughs> you know, they they really do love. They that, th they throw it down though, man. They love that black culture. You know, they're very hip hoppy. So. <laughs> You know, but some of the music is really good. I got to give them props. You know, a lot of the music that comes out of there is really good. It's a lot, of, a lot better than some of the boy bands that came from America, you know, in the UK. So props to them. And a lot of them produce their own stuff. So, you know, shout out to them. But Miss France tells us, <laughs> me smiling the entire time you guys are talking about Spider-Man. Um, I hope I'm saying this right. Um, 
Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen, man. Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen. I, I, you know, hey, Japanese people, don't be mad. I love y'all. Y'all are great culture. And she's like, yes. But she gives us a recommendation. Watch Black Clover. Which, which speaking of that, I, I started reading it just recently. Yeah. And for whatever reason, probably because the wife told me to. Oh, well, <laughs> anyway, you got to do what the wife tell you. And uh, <laughs> yeah, man, it's uh, really good. I I, like, I, like, like, I'm like, I'm a good like 65 chapters in now. Okay. So. All right, I've yeah. seen it. I've seen you it. have something for what are you reading section. <laughs> See, once yeah. again, Chris, fuck literacy. That's his friend. <laughs> <laughs> reading is for suckers. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to check it out because I, I know I've seen, um, it's always in my recommendations on Crunchyroll. And I'm like, screw that, man. I got to watch uh, Attack on Titan, <laughs> which I am very pissed off that they split that damn final oh, season yeah. and well, we won't get it till next year. Yeah, yes, Bastard. but at the same time, no one knew if they were just gonna end it right there awkwardly yeah. or what. And, and then they finally, oh yeah, put a trailer. It's, they put a teaser on. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like this is the end, and then it ended, and I'm like, oh, okay, uh, no Sunday. You know what? Fuck you guys. <laughs> and then I think what two days later they drop a teaser where they made the announcement like, oh, oh yeah, uh, season two, winner of 2020 next year, <laughs> next year. <laughs> See you guys in January. So it's like, oh, peace out, <laughs> best dudes. But the final, um, the final chapter came out. Um, yeah, I read all that. So okay, um, so I I know there are some folks who are anything. like, I, I, series as a whole, amazing. Yeah, but yeah, I know there were some that were not happy with that final um issue, um, and they're calling for the Snyder cut, <laughs> and um, I don't think they're I saw get that, it. but that was that was a very in terms of around the world, that was a very, 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 very vocal minority. Okay, good, good. So, like, like whenever I first saw that article or later on, it's like, yeah, it's got a whole 9,000 signatures. Whoa. Wow, sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Recast the Black Panther, 5,000. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so, thank you, Miss France. Um, like I said, definitely check out her K pop chronicles um, wherever you get your podcast fix. It's there. Um, and shout out to her partners, Suli and um, Michidori, uh, Suli and Dory. Shout out to those lovely ladies as well. Next comment comes from Miss Lady Godiva. She traveled through time to send us a beautiful message while riding a horse nude. Where she says, I really appreciate the valuable information. Now, how valuable was that information <laughs> we gave in episode seven? I would equate that to you guys and Alex because I brought nothing to the table. I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, it's totally Alex. It was totally Alex. Okay, yeah, so. Say, um, <laughs> <laughs> got, look, man, I, I, I'm just here to be the, the, the goofy guy with the, with the like. With the cups. Yeah. <laughs> No, once again, shout out to Mr. Alex Labat who joined us um, last episode. If you want to go back and check it out, I'll put a link. So, boop, but watch this one and then go back. So, Miss Lady Godiva, who I also know, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your comment. And um, yeah, thank you for, you know, you're welcome for the valuable information that Alex Labat gave you. Not <laughs> us. Um, next comes from Sari. Sari sent us a message. Um, what episode six, where she was very happy to see um, Zoom Cat had joined us for our videos. Mm. Like Zoom Zoom Cat's the real MVP sometimes. You know? Oh yeah, Zoom Cat will find his way wherever the fuck he wants to go. So you just have to let him be. He is a boss of bosses. Um, Sari says um, ceremoniously kicked out. LOL. Yes. That was me talking about my days at the local ABC affiliate here where I was ceremoniously kicked out and got a little bit of revenge back on those bastards. So, um, yeah, I can laugh about it now, but at one point I really wanted to go beat the shit out of somebody, but it is what it is. It happened. It's the past. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, you know, I've grown, I've, I've gotten older. Um, my joints are popping, you know, so I can't swing like I used to because you'll hear two pops. It'll be my fist hitting their face and my shoulder might have gone popping out of the socket, socket. you know. <laughs> and I'll just be like, totally I worth it. Yeah. The, the tears streaming totally yeah. worth it. <laughs> like, why are you crying? It was a victory and a loss at the same time. 
So yeah, that was uh, me talking about how I lost my little job, um, but I bounced back. Unlike General Thunderbolt Ross, who fails upward, I failed sideways, <laughs> but I couldn't pay my bills. So that's a good thing. So thank you. Sorry for that lovely comment. And last, but certainly not least, um, Miss Angelina Pereira. She gives us a standing ovation, round of applause. It's just some clapping hands. Clap. The golf clap. Yeah. Way to go, gentlemen. Way Indubitably. Go. You know, I thought it was more the less miles. Good job. Good job, guys. Yeah. But um I need to eat the grass now. No, 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 no. You know, he's he's got issues. <coughs> um, he did give L he did bring LSU a championship on Nick Saban's dime. Boosh, I said it. So thank you. And crazy thing, all our comments came from um the better the better uh sex uh from the from the women so thank you ladies thank you thank you thank Say, you much appreciated your, much appreciated warms the cockles of our hearts <laughs> um and like as always if you want to leave a comment just type below leave a comment let us know what you think about the show we really want to hear from the viewers man trust me we do answer and as you can see i read them on the show please if you want to be nice be nice if you want to be ugly be prepared because i will snap on you <laughs> Um, I won't. I'll just cry. Yeah, he'll cry. Chris will just stare at you, you know, Aaron Connolly, you know, like Minister Farrakhan. He'll just look at you. <laughs> you know. So whatever. I was on Microsoft <laughs> Island. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> Back for vacation. <laughs> Bill and Phil gave me the cash, bitch. I'm good. So once again, if you want to leave a comment, please, we would love to hear from you guys. So with that being said, now it's time to really sit at the table and have a little bit of news and conversation and a thing I like to call geek table news and convo. I don't know why I'm doing this. Spin. It's not like I'm making graphics for this stuff. We're just on screen. <laughs> you know, it's, it's weird. Okay, my you're, nephew. You're preparing is, mentally for it. Though. For it, yeah. I think these are like my edit cuts. I don't know, but I ran it <laughs> because we do things so quickly. <laughs> so some graphics. Ah, I, I probably will. I probably will. So, ladies and gentlemen, our first story came to me while listening. Well, every time I hear the story, I think of the great band System of a Down, who had this wonderful song called Toxicity. And I, 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 I labeled it as Intel versus the toxicity of our PCs. Okay, I'm not getting sued. But Intel has come out with Bleep. Everybody know what Bleep is, right? Um, it is an AI that will filter online gaming abuse. So they are like, we are tired of the toxicity in the gaming community. We want to make gaming a safe space. Uh, we want people to come in and enjoy. And those who are already there may be tired of being called the N word, the H word, the F word, the K word, the G word, whatever word is deemed abusive. They are tired of it. And if you hear crying, that is my nephew. Dear God, somebody give that child a fruit snack. He's tired of it too. He's tired of it as well. So um, he hadn't even been on there yet, but he's tired. Right. Of it. I get it. <laughs> right. Right. So then was this last month at GDC, I believe, or somewhere around that time? It was, it, it, it was somewhere around there. Okay. They um, gave a virtual presentation showing off the uh, sliders for bleep. And basically, it's going to um, you set how you want your hate. <laughs> you yeah, know, it's it's, it, it's it's pretty crazy, you know. And I know there's sliders for some, but there was one straight off clip on or off is the N word, which yeah. I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, because is it the the A or the E R? There are there are uh, issues or you know, both or both yeah i think when a variation yeah because i think when it says nick it's gone and i know that was controversial well as always there was some great comedy yeah. but also there was controversy because people are like this is against free speech and blah 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 <laughs> and um uh, 
the, the folks from Intel who I have to give them props for doing it, they were like, look, this is not kicking you off from the games. This is not going to um, put a permanent ban on you. It is just going to cut off what you're saying to this player who doesn't want to hear your stupidity. You know, quite frankly, it's going to, um, you can still talk. You can still say all the little hate words or whatever you think, but they're, the other person's not going to hear it. You it's, know, it's pretty so, bad that it's come to this where like, we, we got to have companies come in and be like, Hey man, you guys are saying some pretty ignorant shit. And right, but you're the wild west. I mean, there's no accountability on the internet. Right, right. There, there is none. And I mean, look at the. uh, I don't even want to say the, 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 the chans and all of that. There is no. Um, we don't have an internet police force. We don't have it. And and quite quite frankly, in some ways, we don't need it. You know. But it's good that private companies are saying, okay, well, we're going to police ourselves and we're going to make sure that when people want to play, because what I think what people don't understand, there are more people now who have problems enjoying playing in in this culture that it is a problem. So it needs to be addressed. You know, it's it's not of the days with land parties, you know, where we are all a close net and blah, 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 blah. And I could hear you. You know, once we and, you got, know, and you're with all your boys or yeah, girls or whoever, yeah. you and talk I mean, who that's you a want to talk story, with. You know, correct. You you're playing against people who don't know you besides your um your game tag, and you know, I play a lot of cod, you know, a lot of cod, or I play um, what is it, Dead by Daylight? I think it's called. You know, they don't know you personally. So, yeah, if you have a very um filthy ass mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it it could get filtered, but it's not banning you. It's not kicking you off the server. It's you're being bleeped from their hearing. You can call people whatever the hell you want. They just won't hear it. I think it's a good thing anyway. Look, man, I'm I'm in that group that like, look, I'm playing to try and have fun and everything, man. Yeah. I'm not, I don't need to be sitting there having some guy be like, well, you fornicate with your mom right. and all this stuff. And whatever. I wonder how it's going to work. And like throw it, down every um, racial slur, you know, known to man. Like, basically, you have the sliders, and it's supposed to deal with um, LG. Oh boy, alphabet gang hate, uh, misogyny, racism, xenophobia. Right now, but is it like the IP address? Like, what if the person leaves and comes back? Um, I think what it, it's not even on IP address. It's what it hears. It's an a, it's oh. an AI system, so it's gonna say, "Oh, okay, these are one yeah, of the it's... bad words that I we need to bleep out." So it's it's just the word, not the whole everything else? It's Nope, it's just the words, but phrases and sentences can be learned and say, uh, you know, well, go F your mom, you're effing, blah, 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 blah. Like if it's a a full line, it's going to picture that. And it's supposed to understand, which I think is going to be later on, aggression on how it's said. You know, because it could be like friends, like, okay, the 2K market. You know, when you're I mean, playing yeah, 2K you, and Madden, gonna, like, okay, yeah, you're gonna want to talk hear. a little bit of some noise and everything. Yeah, you know? you're gonna hear some shit. So the thing is, is that it's gonna try to smarten. Well, it's AI, so AI is supposed to smarten itself up as it learns that. Oh, okay, this is aggression. This is friend. You know, this is friendly. You know, these are friends talking. You know, because like. If somebody says, well, bitch is um, a horrible word, you know, it's a horrible word for me. But you have some um, women gamers who play, who are good friends, and they're like, hey, bitch, what's up, bitch? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. yeah bitch. <laughs> you know, and that's not how they automatically sound. That's just how my brain perceives it. Um, and they use bitch as a loving term, as a friendship term. This bleep would be able to understand that, okay, they're friends, that's how they speak. I'll leave it alone. But if somebody outside of that circle or somebody came aggressive, like you funky bitch, I'm going to kick your ass, bitch. And it's like, Ooh, there's aggression. That's toxic. Whoop. I'm going to exercise that demon 
it's not kicking you off. It's not going to penalize you. It's just basically, hey, they're not listening to anything you're saying. You know, so my question is, how does it bleep it? Does it bleep it like bleep? Or does it do silence? um, Or is it straight silence? Um, Will it sound like um, an edited rap song? Like, you know, when you went and you bought (laughs) uh, the Two Live Crew album, but you bought it from Walmart? And do uh yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, zip, zip, you know, zip, you know, zip ain't zip, but hold zip. it's like, oh, wait, hold it's fine. Oh, okay, great. So, that's um, one of the things it that's being couch. <laughs> this reminds me of like the YouTube series Unnecessary Censorship. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I got envisioned right now. And you know what. It might be some of the funniest stuff. Like you never know. Some of the great could content be. could come out of using this bleep thing. Uh, you know? uh, like, I, I mean, I, I respect it. You know, like, like I said, like even, even as you know, goofy white dude like me, it's like, dude, I don't need to hear all that, man. Like, yeah, come on, dude. Like, well, it's like fun, man. The like, reason I left online gaming, I was tired of being called the N word in my mother's yeah. vagina, being threatened on a daily basis. It's like, <laughs> dude. I mean, it's I'm it's true though. You Go kill know. yourself. That's blah, why blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm playing online, I'm it's like default mute every. Yeah, time. you know, I'm I'm from the days of put the quarter on the damn machine. Yeah, and you exactly. do and you I got next. at it. I got yes. next. <laughs> and there was a little trash talk, but at the end, you either won a quarter, you lost a quarter, but you look at the dude like, hey man, great game. Yeah, How did it, you man. pull that move off? You know, it's hey, man, that was... during the Mortal Kombat day. Man, how'd you get the uh, fatality? How'd you get the fatality? Man, just go in the back. They got a they got a uh, fatality list printed. Just ask the printer. I see you again. I put my quarterback up. I'm coming yeah, back. you know, I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be all up in that ass. You know, now nowadays <laughs> you got to say pause and all that bullshit. Actually, but, that's that's why I miss the the arcade style, man. Yeah, you know, you, I've never seen a fist fight during Street Fighter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've never seen I've seen some dirty looks, but yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen like somebody say you punk motherfucker, you know, like I've I've seen Cheap some ass. anger, but I have never seen somebody throw a blow. You know, so and I think it's the whole um anonymity of it. Even though I know you by right. your game tag, I don't see your face. I don't yeah. know. Um nowadays they doxing people, but I didn't at the time I don't know your face. So you can say some of the wildest things, you know, and I can perceive it as, okay, you're mad because I'm kicking your butt. Or I can perceive it as you're a hateful little twat. And if I do see you in them streets, hands will be thrown and you will suffer. You know, so it, it it's one of those things. And I think what, what they're doing, I think it's a cool thing. I think, you know, some people like to turn the voice chat off now. You know, like they don't even use voice chat. Like even when I'm playing in Outriders and I, somebody invites me, I'm like, hey, how's it going? I actually want to talk to you because I want to know your strategies. You know, I play Pyromancer. I like to burn things. You might be um, a devastator. I'm definitely going to be running behind you. Yeah, you're me, the me devastator. Me punch yeah. harder. <laughs> you, know, you punch harder. You can do the earthquake punching and all of that. <laughs> I, on the other hand, while you earthquake punch, I'm going to feed the flames. I'm going to burn them. I'm going to blow them up. I'm going to sit there and volcano, you know, volcanic round them a little bit. So I like to, you know, have a conversation and see how you play. So never know. Maybe you might be one of my best teammates. You know, we could maybe fast friends. I don't know. So it's just... um. I don't know. I think it's going to be um, a good tool to use because it's a tool. You don't have to use it. It's going to be interesting to see how AI, <laughs> machine learning, all of that <laughs> definitely makes it go down. Let's put it yeah. that way. Because I don't think this AI is going to turn into Ultron and say, well, the best way to get rid of toxicity is to blow you all up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eliminate you. You know, uh, yep, it's the age of bleep. You know what I'm saying? So where's our Avengers? I, you know, these are just tools that these companies are trying to put out to help the experience get better. In my opinion, you know, some folks are like, no, man, I want to call someone a cunt. And it's like, <laughs> OK, you can. They just won't hear it, which I think really pisses it's, them off because they want to be yeah. heard. Yeah, I, I want to you know? be 
the asshole. Okay. Like that's basically what they're getting at. Right. Just ignore the worst thing that you could they feel is ignored. Exactly. Ignored. Yeah. Because then you know now bleep's gonna have to worry about text messaging. You know, people yeah. saying stuff like "You're a funky dirty bitch." It's like, thank you. You know. Okay. Um, cool. Cool. Um, guess what? Junk mail. That's where it goes. You know. Blockeroni. Yeah. And and that's one of the craziest things. So. I don't play on PC. I'm going to probably start doing it one day somewhere. I don't know. I might be 50 years old finally saying, it's time for me to game on PC and join the, you know, the master race. <laughs> join your but, boy. Uh, David's clan. Yeah, I'll join his clan and, you know, I'll be like, huh, consoles. <laughs> How dare I love those things for PC. Can't we all just get along? Yeah. These clubs. Huh? <laughs> you pitiful, pitiful people. <laughs> Use your sliders. No, you can't. Huh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's happening. Um, I would like to know how, you know, people who are watching feel, you know, are you okay with that? Are you good with having a little bit of um, protection in your safe space? Which I think you would, because that's why it's called a safe space. It's a space where you can be safe. Um, but I really did love the comedy that came out of it on Twitter where people I were like, was about to say, yeah, there was a good amount of, uh... yeah. Excuse me, Intel. Can I have maybe a hint of N word mixed with <laughs> a tiny taste of homophobia? Please. I can't really, you know, it's, it's a beautiful cup of tea. If I can have that. Hold the F word. Hold the F word, but definitely yeah. give me a lot of N word. It's beautiful. <laughs> and I think their presentation was hilarious though you know, them on the green screen and just the sliders in the background. <laughs> and the guy's like, so Jeez. are you tired of hearing the N-word? Can you just turn this toggle? And it's like complete shutdown of N-word, you know? And that's where, you know, I, I don't know if black, you know, black tech Twitter jumped on it, but there was some who were having a field day with that. You know, well, I'm, I'm sure cutting off did, all man. you. Like, and it's like, <laughs> I was going to say that can poop. I was going to say, you know. I was going to say silly nannies. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Nords and nerds. <laughs> nope, sound too much like. And that's what they kept saying. Well, N-word. What N-word are you banning? And the Nard Intel's dog. like, you you, you are not. We we already, we run blip. You ain't making us saying it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but on um Spawn on Me podcast had a really, really good interview with some folks from Intel. And they're working on it. I mean, they're really working on it. This is not this uh fly by night um tech here they really believe in um peaceful and fun gaming where competition can can thrive but it doesn't have to have all this um silly shit with you know we all have words we all we use words but i don't know you don't have to literally call somebody a derogatory racist slur to beat them that just means you need to get better. I showed you. You know, ha, you silly, stupid, black bastard. Yeah. But you're getting sniped constantly. You're sucking. <laughs> Your kill death rate is off the charts. Your deaths to kills are just like, pfft, you know, oh, you got one kill. Congratulations. But you have 500 deaths. Like you've been killed 500 times. That's because you suck. It's not because this person is an N word or because of their sexual preference or because well, that's why our team's losing because yeah, it's one of know, those. or because they're a woman. They're good. Once you realize they're just good, then you get your shit together and become better. And then you frustrate them by beating them, not by just calling them, calling them out their name, you know? That's my words of wisdom from your yeah, friend exactly. the neighborhood Super Negro. Please use them accordingly. You know, so hopefully, um, good luck with Intel. Good luck with that. I won't be using it because I play on the PS5. And guess what? That's toxic already. Um, <laughs> as well as Xbox. Sorry, Chris. Hey. I mean, shit ain't changed since 2003, but yeah. <laughs> it ain't changed, man. <laughs> I tried. I really tried. I was like, let me go back to Xbox land and play just, online. Wait, yeah. just, just switch to Nintendo where, you know, the, the uh, online chat is so confusing to use that no one uses it. it yeah. <laughs> it's just like, well, I'll just call you something derogatory in my heart. 
Yeah. As we play Animal Crossing. (laughs) (laughs) As I go I know you can't hear me, but you (laughs) suck, you bitch. You visited my island? (laughs) I'm gonna chop your trees, you fucking asshole. (laughs) Invade your island. (laughs) Yeah. Oh man, your mom's a nook. Now that's an N word that would hurt. (laughs) Call somebody a nook. Like old Tom Nook. Oof. Old old Tom, dude, he's he don't play around. Tom don't play around. I, that's that's fighting words. Who you calling a nook, nook? It's like, oh, shit. Now nah, then, Son bleep's gonna have to be like, oh, that's the new n word, and then the other <laughs> n word gets phased out. You know, strictly for my nooks. All right, <laughs> all right. So moving on. Um, like I said, good luck with that. Um, I'm hoping some good things come from it. Hip hip hurrah. Fingers crossed. So. Speaking of, I was talking about my PlayStation. Let's talk about some Sony news. And Sony wanting to be the Disney Plus of the gaming world with PlayStation Plus Video Pass, which is testing now in Poland. <laughs> the fuck, Sony? Yeah. Like, well, hey, Polish users. There it goes. It doesn't say. It's like they, they put out a statement like, oh, we have a, a healthy base of playstation users in poland it's like what wait huh why i mean i would you know i'd understand japan i'd understand london america hell timbuktu i get it poland that's okay all right i mean whatever good good for them they yeah showing them some love i guess yeah i mean hey you know poland's been through a lot show them a little love now i'm still it's very vague though details like i understand yeah. it's you can stream a bunch of their sony studios movies so, yeah shows. only sony studios only but them is this is this like a netflix is this part of your playstation Game Plus? And movies? is this um movies right now it's it's just a video pass so basically um what they're doing they're trying to do a test run because this is going to be a new part of playstation plus where you can watch all the Sony stuff. So movies that come from Sony Pictures, Columbia, TriStar, mm-hmm. um, you know, movies that it's, include Venom, Zombieland, Zombieland Double. What is it? Uh, Bloodshot. Uh, Blood, is it Bloodshot? Bloodshot yeah. was a movie? Okay. I thought Bloodshot was universal, but yeah. What else? Uh, um, something else. Anyway. I think, and I don't know this, and, and it may happen. This is because there's a rumor now that the Marvel Spider-Man films are going are going to be shown on Disney Plus in a joint venture with Sony. So I think so because Sony already said that they're straight up Spider-Man, you know, uh, the Tobey Maguire's and Andrew Garfield's that's going to be on video pass. So the Marvel Sony um, Sony team up with um, Tom Holland that will probably be shared between Disney Plus and Sony um, PlayStation Plus Video Pass. So if that happens, I mean, that's a great um, juncture for them. Uh, it may lead to some better uh, partnerships with not just only Sony films to where, hmm, hey, Netflix, we're going to give you a run for our money. Uh, also, another rumor that may um, that could happen is the return of Sony-produced um shows uh i don't know if y'all remember you remember, they did powers that was a sony um exclusive that you could yeah, only watch they, on your playstation that's to say they you know? did for a little while that i, I can't yeah. remember if there was a whole lot else it was I powers and, a, and i think two other shows because i enjoy powers i remember that though. powers was awesome the the final season was kind of um the finale was kind of a letdown but it was still enjoyable um so they may start doing going back to doing their own um, in-house produced stuff. Um, we already know, I think um, the last of us is going to HBO. Yes. Series. Mm-hmm. So they're probably going to be like, cause I remember when they were doing this, they were saying, we're doing a God of war um, series. That's going to happen. And, and that just never did. It was just like when, yeah, it was just like when Microsoft wanted to do a Halo series. It's true. I, I totally forgot we have an Uncharted movie coming out. Yeah, Tom Uncharted. Holland. Which is Sony, which I think is coming yeah. out late this year or 2022. So I, 
again, they're they're still pretty vague on this pass. So I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm wondering if this is something where at this time, you know, say they do have Sony Studios movies coming out, if there will be also on pass at said time, like, yeah. oh, if you also throw this on your PlayStation Plus, you know, right? Games and movies, games yeah. and movies. Yeah, that's a huge that's a huge deal because um, at the end of the year, the PlayStation Store is going to stop offering TV and movie content for purchase or rental. Period. Correct. So this is this is where they're going, and if it's a part of your um, PlayStation Plus membership, no extra charge, Sony. <laughs> fingers crossed because you know sony um like i seriously think they need to take this video pass the playstation now streaming service just put it all together in one right. package Do a, a, that's their only hope for uh, to go against game pass pretty much game pass, game pass and a, just a, see we have everything movies a, and games playstation plus ultimate or whatever the yeah hell they would decide to Exactly. We give you lines. everything. We you don't have to just sit there and say, "Well, I got Game Pass and I can do, huh? Yeah, all you're doing is playing games." Here we have movies and television shows that when when you're not playing a game, you just come on the PlayStation Plus Ultimate the and guys, blah 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 blah. blah. You know, pictures. Yeah, you know, TV. you can watch. You we own Funimation. Venom. We can we can throw down some anime too. There it is. Oh yeah, that's another thing. And so. I believe Crunchyroll. Yeah, I think that's a partnership now. Or that's they, a partner, they yeah. Both of them, yeah. So hey, why not throw music in there too? I mean, come on. Yeah, so, uh, Sony. That's to say, Sony, dude, Sony music. I mean, there's so much that they do with that too. So right. So they what, really, if they, let's put it this way, if they believed in all of that enough, like they could really have like a huge ecosystem of hey, Xbox, Spotify, and Netflix mm-hmm. all in one. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And now the you know because the install base is there oh yeah but, oh yeah and, you know even if they say okay we're gonna raise it to um 15 a month to combat um xbox game um my game pass they have extras you know they have those extras so now you'll hear the ponies you know galloping <laughs> and, and like we have a better deal we have a better deal <laughs> You know, uh, now this is where the question lies. If you go that route, are you going to do day one with your games Hell no. like Microsoft does? And I think that's a, I, I agree with Corey. Maybe that's, the movies. that's a hell no. Yeah. I think that, I think that's a big, I don't think they'll do it with movies either. Yeah. I don't think they will. I don't think they would. They want that theater money. I don't think Sony I, has the cojones to really say, you know I, what? day and date like what hbo did with hbo max movies i could make and that's a that's a huge maybe but their big blockbuster game ah, yeah you know will god of war 2 <laughs> you know or yeah. um the next uncharted which i think they're actually working on um would that be a day and date on the streaming service all signed for me Magic Eight Ball says, "Ha ha, hell no." Yeah, you know, Last of Us Three. Yeah, Last of Us Three or anything, you know. Um, like you said movies could depend. It, it just really kind of depends on the world at large, to be honest. Yeah. You know. Yeah. If yeah. everything, if we switch back to normal, then I would say no. Yeah, big, big no, big yeah. no. You know, but Microsoft, I could maybe see like. Maybe like, oh, the look, the moment they're at a theater, oh, look, it's on your home service. Yeah. You know, kind of thing. But no, not, it, it just really depends on, I don't know. There's so many different factors, man. Like, Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and this is all pure speculation, you know, yeah. but I mean, it would be cool. It would be like, oh, Sony really does pay attention to the competition, but also mm-hmm. listens to the fans. But um one thing out of this i want to say wow sony that was kind of effed up is they're not doing a days gone sequel yeah and days gone actually made money you know there was issues with the game don't get me wrong the game was it it had a lot of bugs it was flawed (laughs) but it's been 
cleaned up. It's been fixed. There's DLC. It's becoming a fan, a game in favorite. Uh, and Sony's like, oh yeah, we're doing Uncharted, but Dave's gone. Nah. I'm gonna say I feel like it kind of got when the PS5 came out. It kind of got its its second win because it's yeah. on the you know the the PS4 collection of PlayStation right. Plus. That so. you, and now people are like, wow, this game. I slept on it. Like it was a a, a money making slept on game. Or that kind of is a, one game that that made a money. lot of people slept on because to be real, I kind of even forgot about it just because it kind of yeah. disappeared off the charts for a while. Yeah, because and I then think, you know PS5 hype and right because when Days Gone because Days Gone came out what last, this year last year in 2020 I early 2020 think so yes yeah because it was mistaken. a part of a whole big um oh we're gonna take over 2020. Yeah, you know, um, and they had this huge list of games that were coming out for the PS4, and then people, no, 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 scratch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it did come do, out. Do 20, I cheat? Let's cheat. <laughs> yeah, I think it came out 2020 because that was a part of the whole push with sony at i think 2019 they were talking hey, about the last of us two days a- gone. april of 2019 oh yeah. it's april 2019 i'm sorry oh, so this pre-pandemic is... Woo, pre-pandemic yeah, like, oh wow I so yeah i thought it was 2020 i'm sorry 2020 is such a ugh. so yeah. yeah so it's a two-year-old game and it's gained traction you it know really did though it picked up okay so yeah it, it was a part of the whole um push of 2019 that gave us um it's like remember the e3 and the 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 barn the barn and the yeah. to push the, the last yeah, of us yeah, two and everything <laughs> all that yeah shenanigans yeah because the last of us two came out last year right yeah yeah because the controversy because yes. kept getting pushed back and then it was like oh and then this leaked and yeah okay so yeah because that was all supposed to be that was the big thing for sony was Days Gone was going to be their next big AAA title. And it was, it, was, <laughs> it was supposed to be, but it suffered from the Order 1886 problems. Yeah. You know, because the Order was a very beautiful set piece looking game. Say, at the time <laughs> when the Order came out, that thing was, that, that showed, it was one of those ones that I was like, wow, yeah, that showed off the power of this system, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and same, I have the game. Same with, uh, if I'm not mistaken, same with Infamous, you know. Second Infamous Son. Second Son, yeah. So both of those were two games. I was like, whoa. When that first came out in the PlayStation 4, I was like, mm-hmm. whoa, this, this is a next gen system. <laughs> <laughs> and then the game, I think that that just pushed Days Gone completely out of earshot and and and, and eye viewing was Ghosts. I, I was going to say, I knew what you were going to Oh, yeah. <laughs> that game right there it's just so told good. me, whoo. I don't care about Days Gone. And I love games like Days Gone. You know, because Outriders is kind of like Days Gone. Yeah. You know, it's it's a it's somewhat of a looter shooter, but Days Gone is a little more deep, way deeper than that. But no man, Ghost of Tsushima just like pew, that that's the game that when they're gonna announce a sequel, I won't care about anything else Sony said they're <laughs> coming out with. Not the next God of War. Not the next. Um, well, we know Horizon. Um, what is it? Wild. Uh, um, something wild. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, the next Horizon <laughs> game. Uh, anything that Naughty Dog does, I do not care. Sucker Punch is the studio I'm watching, and when they're gonna say, "Hey guys, we're going back to Sushima," and then they <laughs> might they may leave Sushima because I mean the story is complete. But I would love to see, like you know, tales from Sushima, something in that vein. But I something also in love that, that same everything that they did. Cause... But I really would love a new infamous game. I agree. Whether you yeah. do it with Delson or whether you do it with Cole, or you bring in a brand new character, I would love to see Sucker Punch go back to the days, go back to infamous. Always had fun with all those. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I think the only game that will that will push ghosts out of the way is the next Spider-Man game. <laughs> Once they say Venom, I'm like, sure. I'm Carnage. Car- oh, I don't think we're gonna see Carnage in the game. No. I think we're gonna get Venom and uh, Green Goblin. You know, and I think Pete's gonna wear the suit, and then you'll play as Venom. 
and then Pete's going to get possessed. And then you're going to have to play as Miles to knock the shit out of Pete to take the suit off. And then I, I don't know. I, that's my wild fan, fan fantasy of the game. But <laughs> I just want to play as Venom, you know, just like Ultimate Spider-Man when they gave you the chance to play Venom. Yeah, that was a you cool know. game too, man. And uh, Maximum Carnage where you could play Spider-Man or Venom in a beautiful rock and sock um <laughs> Fight, Back you know, street fighting game. SNES Genesis times. Oh, know? yeah. Oh, I love yeah, the yeah. separation anxiety and maximum carnage. You hear the amazing soundtrack done by Green Jelly. Ah. Was it Green Jelly? Yeah, it was yeah. Green Jelly. When they had to change their name because they used to be known as Green Jello. <laughs> and they got sued with a cease. They got a uh, cease and desist and they were sued. So, yeah, I think that's going to be a really, really cool um, situation. I hope. Sony has some good ideas for what they want to do with video pass because their whole thing right now is we just really want to focus on the Polish market. And it's kind of like, <laughs> okay, fine. You know, Hey, Poland, you got it. Have fun. You know, let us I, know if people from kind of like, watching, like you know. said, man, like I'm just hoping it's something that's rolled into your mm -hmm. PS plus subscription. Yeah. And if it isn't, if it's like an add on or an ultimate or something, Mm -hmm. just not something obscene yeah no <laughs> wild ass price because it's like, like guys like come on dude like it took you how long just to even like just now i think they're finally testing like 1080p streaming on ps now right like right. come on dogs like <laughs> <laughs> hey welcome to 2021 yeah, what, you know <laughs> what time is it here <laughs> oh this fandango technology i'm so used to 720 I'm How dare you do back it? in the old 480p times. Yeah, you know, 4-3 was the way to be. <laughs> Straight square, you son's gun. But, you know, hey, we'll see. We will see. So, moving on, we have a movie trailer, which I may or may not put on here um, or add. But um, got to give DC a little bit of love. They released the Suicide Squad trailer um months ago well last year doing a fandom <laughs> i love the name of that uh dc's uh fandom they did this great i think seven minute teaser of the suicide squad the shooting of it we got a chance to meet a lot of the actors we got to see james gunn be james gunn um but now we see what the movie is looking like and i will be honest with you I am excited. I really want to see the Suicide Squad. I It may be in the theaters. It may be on HBO Max. But I really want to see this. I find the, the, the comedy is very James Gunn. It is. Um, it's very Guardian-ish. Yeah. Which Guardians. is great. Which, you know. I, I, I love yeah. Guardians. So. Yeah. yeah. The question is... Will the Suicide Squad make us fall in love with a weasel and a humanoid shark <laughs> like Guardians did with a raccoon and a talking tree? Can lightning strike in the same place twice? Can you capture lightning in the bottle twice? Maybe not exactly, but I mean, I don't know, King man. Shark it is looks, Sylvester Stallone. It looks, yeah, I know. <laughs> and Hey, oh, I'm a, I'm a shark, huh? <laughs> but no, it's, it look it it looks it looks cool. It looks fun. That's yeah. that's the thing. It looks fun. Yeah, and it's it like, it has its violence. It has its R rating. Oh God, yeah, the, the, the violent dude in the actors, the, the, the squad they got. Man. Yeah, it's you gonna got, be all about the chemistry. Yeah, yeah. Have. and I, and I think the chemistry here is top notch. From you know, at least from the behind the scenes mm -hmm. in the trailer that we've seen. It actually does look. I mean, that's what made Guardians. It's like exactly. the chemistry is so good, and and like you you become friends, you know. Yeah. And what I love is John Cena and his <laughs> love for gen for for digesting genitalia. <laughs> if this beach was lined with a whole bunch of penises with a bunch of dicks, and they tell me I have to eat it for liberty. Then I'm gonna eat him. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, but I mean that's John Cena. He is a liberty. funny guy, you know, for liberty. Um, Idris Elba as um oh, what was his name? Oh damn, I feel bad that they're gonna try and take my um geek card. But I wasn't that big of a suicide squad reader. 
Um, we all know Margot Robbie is going to kill it as Harley. And she, she seems so sweet in it, you know? Um, we got our dumbass Boomerang back, too. Yep, Captain Boomerang, <laughs> Jay, Cord- Jay Courtney is back. Yeah. Uh, Randall Flagg is back. Um, Michael Rooker. Yep. We, we lost him as... Um, we lost him in Guardians, but he's back with <laughs> Suicide Squad. So it's going to be... Um, Pete Davidson is in it, which I think is going to be pretty funny. Um, dude, anything with Viola Davis, with um, Viola Davis, I'm gonna watch regardless. You know, yeah, and she, the fact she like bring, she brings the same, I'm a badass kind of. You know, oh, like, she looks even more badass in this one. Man, you she, know, first, she she always has that badass look, but man, like in bo- both of these, she always got that like. Not only am I bad, I'm very pissed. <laughs> yes. You know, you fuck this up, I'm going to blow your head. Exactly, yeah. You know, so I, I think it's going to work. I think this is going to be a fun one. This is going to... I really want DC to have a really good win. You know, it, like... It's, it's about win. time. Let, yeah. Let's put it that way. It's about time. You know, I mean, Wonder Woman was good. Wonder Woman 88, 84 was... Um, mm-hmm. I, I will still stick to it. Shazam was a fun movie. Shazam was super it. fun. Joker. Joker was good. But um, Aquaman was um, a wet panties movie. <laughs> or as Definitely. I like to call it, um, Wakanda Underwater. Look, man, Aqu- Aquaman, man or woman, you, know, you, were, you were either this or you were... Yeah, you know, <laughs> you're like, oh my God, I have tidal waves in my... T- the, the, the dude's a handsome man, come on. Yeah, I mean, no, look, I have nothing to the Momoa. I say the dude's a dick. I just look at it as... But it's true, though. It's <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It's a good movie. It's, yeah. you know, visually, wow. But uh, I, 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 I could have lived without Amber Heard um, as an era. But you know, you went see the movie. I mean, everybody saw the movie. It made over a billion dollars. Yeah. You know, it made, I think that's the, is that the, the highest ranking DC film um, for that DCEU? I think it's Aquaman. Probably, I think, yeah, I think so. For so that. I don't think Superman, Batman made that much. Uh, you remember it had like these. The Dark Knight trilogy? No. Huh? Well. Well, no, I'm talking about the DCEU. Oh, you know, okay. With the whole Zack Snyder. And, that, and that's what I was going to throw Nolan. in there too. It's like. I wouldn't count Joker as well, even even though yeah, because Joker's a awesome movie and everything, but I wouldn't count it as part of this. I consider yeah. it um what, what DC was doing. Yeah, <laughs> I consider it their black label movie yeah, yeah. slash vertigo kind of movie. Um, but when you talk about the whole superhero set, um also that came out, Justice League, the Snyder Cut did not bring as much um streaming as people thought it did for HBO Max. It did not do, uh, it didn't generate the numbers people automatically think it did, which goes to show you this was a niche just for Snyder fans. You know, this was, and because they can't say it wasn't promoted because dear God, was it? (laughs) Yeah, geez. Uh, Was it promoted? So this was just a, hey, we made this event. We gave you what you asked for. Piss off. You know, we're done. Like we said last time, though, it's like, look, at least at, at least he got it out there, you know? Yeah. Like, look, because, man, like, there, there's a whole lot of shenanigans, and at least it got right. out there. Let's put his it version, yeah. yeah. Yeah, his version, his vision. And like I said before, yay, congratulations. I, I'm wondering with this Suicide Squad movie coming out, will the fans of the other one start yelling, release the airs cut? <laughs> Which I'm just like, no. No, I don't need a, a beat. Slapping you. I'm slapping you. Yeah, you know, I don't need a beat. Um, a crocodile watching BET After Dark um, <laughs> cut of this movie. Just let's stop. So Suicide Squad is coming out in August. Um, like I said, I'm excited. I, I, really I just say, I have, I have the hopes for it. You know? Yeah. Because <laughs> like, everything I'm I've keeping... seen looks like it's going to be a fun-ass movie. Yeah. Like, Good or bad, I'm going to review it, guys. Just be prepared. I think we are going to review it together. We're going to talk about it. So um, good luck to James Gunn, who is working on, who is now away from DC and working on the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Yes. A Christmas <laughs> special, which I have got to see. And there are, I think they're going to start shooting um, Guardians 3 this um, in May or June. 
Like, I think they're going to start. As long as the holiday starts. special is as good as the Star Wars one. That's all I need. Yeah. I, I just <laughs> need, um, I, I need a Groot family Christmas. Like the Chewbacca <laughs> one. That's the one I need. I need that. I need a Groot family Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, and Rocket comes in like uh, Ebenezer Scrooge or something. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to see where they go with it. Um, Yandu comes back like baby, like Jesus, even though it's Christmas. Uh, we could do an Easter thing where Yandu comes back. He's resurrected on the third day. I came out of space and I'm, I'm back. Um, so that's pretty cool. So since we ended, we talked about DC and found a way into Marvel. Might as well get into the mighty Marvel TV talk, 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 I, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and with our first uh, mighty Marvel TV talking, we have to talk about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Or as it's now known, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. So look, it's the, the weekend's over, guys. You, weekend's you know, over. You, you, <laughs> by the time this comes out, no, you should spoilers, spoiler warning. spoilers, spoilers. If you got to skip, skip. I do do chapters, but um, yeah, we we really got to talk about this six episode um tour de force for Marvel, which I've seen a lot of, um, oh, it's not WandaVision. It's not supposed to be WandaVision. That's what I say. It's like, what in God's name makes you think it's going to be that? Yeah. <laughs> when when was Wanda going to pop up or when was it going to be um, TV shows through the decades? Although they did do homages to 80s action films, yeah, which I thought worked for me because I'm a huge fan of those movies. Um, I personally think the show the series as a whole was well done there were moments that was a little hokey i was just like okay that's black falcon i'm like no (laughs) No. that's That's captain america b and i just went okay all right it's established you know sam already established he is captain america but it was it was cool to see the elder in the old ways of thought of comic books, you know, because every time they had a black character, it was, you had to put black in front of it, you know, black Goliath, black lightning, um, black Panther, but that was a mantle, you know, correct. So that 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 one's a little, he's a little different. That, that was a mantle, but Marvel was one of the first to say, okay, we have storm. We have Luke Cage and Falcon wasn't known as Black Falcon. He was known as Falcon. Goliath, on the other hand, who was um, Hank Pym, when it went to a black man, they just said Black Goliath. (laughs) Shouldn't he just be Goliath? He just took the mantle. It shouldn't be. You can't confuse it because Hank went back to (laughs) Yellow Jacket and Ant-Man and Giant Man. We're good. You don't have to put Black in front of it. So I loved it. Um, I will say I teared in um episode six for Isaiah. Um, look, I, look, I, I threw out that the, was beautiful the thug as tear for that. And, oh yeah, and, you know with with Bucky, you know. Oh yeah, you Buck and Yuri threw it out too, man. Like, oh, dude, that that hit. But the first the first five episodes, I thought, boom, 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 boom. I know, Chris. We talked five episode five was a little off for you. And right. I think it was more because of the Zemo and Sharon it, uh, situation. Yeah. Um, I personally enjoyed the Zemo journey <laughs> <laughs> through all six episodes. I it, thought it worked perfectly. Once again, like I like I told you guys, once again, Zemo's two for two at bad guys. Stuff, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> he he he's he didn't even try this two. one. <laughs> no, he's, he's two for two. He was just like, "Hey, Butler, do it." Yes. Boom, done. Okay, I'll smile. One you world, know. one people. <laughs> yeah, I I was like, holy shit. Way to go, Zemo. Like I said, two for two with bad guy stuff. He's the man. <laughs> he gets it done. He got the job done. He wanted to break the Avengers. He pretty much broke them. He, he wanted to get rid of them super soldiers in that serum. He yeah. pretty much did it. He did. <laughs> the, 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 you know. the man. Look, say anything you want about the man. You know, he, he's a doer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he stays on beat. He does. (laughs) 
he's he's Zemo on the beat, man. He he is he's a beast. So um I, I know I said my piece. I want to hear everybody's piece on it. What did Chris, what did you think about it as a whole? Um, what worked and what didn't work? I liked it as a whole. Uh, I thought some characters are kind of forced in. Mm-hmm. But I, I think you told me that this was kind of like a rewritten script or something. Yeah, they they made the some, they made some changes because of the pandemic. I mean, at the end, I guess it worked. But at mm-hmm. first, I was like, "Why is Zemo here?" I mean, he has his little cameos. I just didn't know they brought him in for like to get fans hyped or you know onto yeah. the series. But at the end, if you notice, uh, the new Captain America is kind of like a hybrid of Captain America and Iron Man. He's almost like a he can fly. He's got Captain America shields. He's almost like a, a hybrid of the two now. Yeah. With Wakandan tech, yeah. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, like, I, I think maybe Anthony knows you. Maybe said it's like Wakanda is the new Tony Stark, almost. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. As a whole, like they're, they're the new they're the new tech supply. Yeah. But the question is, how how far are they going to supply? Because I yeah, mean, that's <laughs> this was a favor for Bucky. Correct. This was a favor, like, hey, I just want to call in my favor. And what I really, really thought. I thought um, Sam's suit would have been nanotech, like T'Challa's suit, mm. to wear. But then that would have probably be hokey. Was like, what does he do? Push the star on a, on his neck. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, but his wings, and this is from the comic books, y'all. Um, Falcon did get vibranium wings from T'Challa back, I think, in the seventies, eighties. Um, he goes to Wakanda, and they repurpose his um his his flight suit so that was cool that's a good a little you know swinging homage to you know brothers doing it for each other but i thought the suit looked amazing i thought the suit looked cool like real cool i want to see it in the sunlight at night it looked cool it's when you put it in the sun because <laughs> that, that that whole night fight was awesome i want to see it in the sunlight you know so i'm sorry um I think we were still on you, Chris. Yeah. But uh oh, that's pretty much I liked it. I enjoyed it. I can't wait to see like where he goes from here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Dave, what was your um outlook? I enjoyed it, man, like a lot. Uh I enjoyed the action, you know, it was all pre top notch. I mean, look, they're going all out on these shows, man. Like yeah. I, I enjoyed it. Um <clears throat> I really liked how, how do you put that? The, the emotional beats, you know, like Sam's yeah. family and everything. <laughs> like, like, look, episode one, five, like I enjoyed the hell out of mm-hmm. him, like hanging and doing his thing, you know, getting to know a little bit more backstory, everything. Right. Um, dude, it, I, I mean, the whole, the whole thing, the, look, there were a few, like Chris said, look, there were a few things a little, a little odd. Like, I don't know, some of the stuff with like sharing, like being power yeah. broker. Yeah. It was a little, maybe a little force some of it like okay okay just cause, just because i don't know like they didn't really like there's a whole lot of points where it's just like kind of rando popped up like so dogs like i'm here guys so, you know, yeah. kind of thing like here i am i don't know <laughs> but at, at the end too like you know her being that and getting her old job back and uh, maybe some setup for the armor she's wars, calling maybe? Yeah. That and that's where I'm like, when I saw that part, I was like, this has got to be Armor Wars. This yeah. has got to be a nod to Armor Wars. Are, 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 we, Ross? are, are we gonna see like I Justin know, Hammer so. make a return? Like, he's supposed yeah. to be coming back. Uh, he's Sam sure. Rock uh, is it Sam Rockwell? Is that his name? I, I, yeah, Sam Rockwell. Um, when they brought up Armor Wars, they I believe Kevin Feige said he's coming back as Justin Hammer. I was about to say, are we going to see some more Hammer Tech? You know, with now with Stark's Tech, like. Well, and keep in mind, he's still in jail. Yeah. You know, from um, All Hail the King, he was still in prison. So we have to see where things go. But I would love to see Sam Rockwell so, back as so Justin like, Hammer. Hmm. But overall, man, like, I thought it was cool. Like, mm-hmm. I, like, look, I kind of knew, or we we kind of had the hints. Like, look, he's he's going to take the mantle. Everything, yeah. you know. We had the hints that, like, John Walker, you know, he was going to become the U.S. agent. Yeah. And everything. Like, which, which was kind of cool, but, but kind of funny. Hokey. He a gave a little nod at the end. You saw that? It yeah. was ho- the well, speech. It was kind of hokey and everything, but, like, yeah, he kind of does that twitch, kind of, like, from that. You saw, like, when he was, like, the, I, I guess kind of, like, the super soldier serum kind of messed with him a little too yeah. mentally after 
Lamar dying all that, you know. But he had the twitch you before. You saw that kind too. of. That's true because I mean they have been at war and all that. I the mean, P- look, they've yeah, seen a lot of shit. Theme. Yeah. And, and I felt look, look, man, like John Walker, man, like when he was getting ousted and everything, like mm-hmm. I felt for the guy, man, like. Dude, he, he yelled, I'm Captain America. I'm like, oh shit. Okay, bro. Like, because look, I'm I'm not a look, I'm never gonna be a soldier. I'm not, you know, whatever, but mm-hmm. like I get it. These guys, like, they do what they're told, man. And then like right. to have the guys who you did what they wanted, and then they just take it all from you because you did what they wanted, you know. Yeah, and it's the same thing that happened to John happened to Isaiah. Exactly. But unlike Isaiah, John get to walk free. Isaiah Correct. went to prison for 30 years and experimented on and, you know, and then just like, yeah, you know, and, and disavowed and out of the history books. Like and that's, that's why at the end, you know, like, like you said, I, I threw down the, Oh yeah. Uh, I teared dude. Yeah. When, when he, when he got his due, you know? Yeah. Not, nah, you know, crazy me be like, Oh, y'all put him in the back. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, oh, we glamorize, you know, we glamorizing Steve. Oh, but he's in the corner over there. <laughs> look, look in the corner. There's this Negro in there. But... When when they got his statue, and oh like, yeah, bam, and he you saw know, threw it. down the hug, and you saw like, dude, you saw his face, man. Like, and props right. to Carl Lumley who played Isaiah Bradley. This man is yeah. an actor's actor, man. He's been say, around. Yeah, he did awesome. Um, I remember him as a kid on Cagney and Lacey, you know, because my dad was a huge Cagney and Lacey fan. So I remember him from there. And if you're a hardcore geek and nerd, you'll remember him from Mantis, which was um, a series. It was a TV movie that aired on Fox that was produced by the great Sam Raimi and his Renaissance pictures. And then when they turned it into a series, they kind of whitewashed it and it it was kind of crappy and it got canceled, I think after um, five or six episodes and then they found the rest of them and aired them all. But Carl Lumley, and he is the voice of the great Martian Manhunter from the Justice League cartoons. Um, he, He is an actor's actor, man. Like he played black, black man suffering or suffering black man or america shit on black man perfectly I was and say, i'm not like, saying that for joking he played a black man in america perfectly no when he was give like anytime he was kind of throwing down everything man you, you could feel like damn dude, pain like yeah it was like i know you got super soldier serum i know you could whip my ass but like no but, you could tell in this dude like i mean shit like when he and Sam were sitting down with his letters and everything, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, man. He, he reminded me of my uncles who were who were in the military during Vietnam and their and they partners. You know, that's who he reminded me of. And would it really remind me of Spike Lee has a movie called The Five Bloods? <clears throat> and Isaiah Bradley is kind of like the opposite of um Delroy Lindo's character, Paul. But where Paul wanted the American dream and he got shit on, Isaiah was, and he defended America. He defended yeah. America no matter what until the end where Paul finally just says, no, I want what's mine. Isaiah was, well, they're, they're basically the same person, but it's like if you gave Paul super soldier serum, <laughs> you know, but where Paul was forgotten because of Vietnam, like a lot of black soldiers were yeah, forgotten as well as white soldiers. But, you know, black soldiers were just pissed on. Isaiah is just like, ah, oh, we ain't forgot you because you got something that belongs to us and we're going to take it out. And oh, we're, we're going gonna, to experiment gonna take on it from you, yeah. from you, you know, and all the glory you fought in the name of America. You know, you fought for America, you fought for its name and for its old, you know, the greatest nation. We're just going to piss on you. And we're going to take it all away. We're going to throw you in jail. We're going to experiment on you. We're going to lie to your family and say you died in combat, man. I know, like, damn, man. And then, like, just, nah, you know, anything you get, whatever, nah. No, we don't care. Whatever. You know, and Sam finally made a promise. Like, he kept his promises. The two promises he made. He kept his promise to to Sharon by getting that uh, pardon. 
and he kept his promise to Isaiah for some odd yeah. reason. <laughs> you know, I, and what I loved in uh, six was when they were like, um, he goes back to Baltimore and um, Eli, yeah, Eli, his grandson, who is a patriot in the Young Avengers. So that's a good Young Avengers side. He just goes, what you want, Black Falcon? <laughs> and Isaiah's just like, that's Captain America. Still black, though. Yeah, I like how Isaiah I, I, I still just... takes the time to dunk on this dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> no, no matter how much Sam is like, I'm a hero. Isaiah's like, no, like, you're not. No, I'm a dunk on you every chance I yeah. get. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to shit on you regardless, you know. And the um, the speech in episode six, you know, because this is a journey for Sam. It's a journey for Sam and Bucky, you know, Bucky having to finally um, come to terms. You know, when Sam said tough love, man, you just going to have to buck up and do it. You know, this, you were avenging. You weren't looking for um, the speech itself. Yeah. Speech yeah. itself was definitely not cheesier, but I, I knew they, they were going to do the cheese where like Sam, I mean, uh, excuse me, Isaiah's watching on TV and yeah, sees it. And well, and I, you know, I, I, I thought the, sh- the, the cut to Isaiah was this is why Sam's telling you this. Yes, it's Sam's experience, but it's also Isaiah and also every black person in America. But man, you know the whole that I don't know, there there was a whole lot of like like hitting the feels that I mean there was good yeah. action. Don't get me wrong, like yeah, but there was a whole lot of like uh, in the feels that right. Mm-hmm. I was kind of sad. Batrock got the bullet. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, well, Sharon gave the whiff. <laughs> yeah, it was like, yeah. oh well, we're done. You know, you so you had the power broke out. Okay. Four million dollars. <laughs> All right. Well, you're dying now. You're and, yeah. Million. And she's like, huh? Okay. Four million. Uh, that's about yeah. what, four bullets. <laughs> and I, I, I love the, I love the trade off. Sharon shoots Batrock. <laughs> yeah. Carly <laughs> shoots Sharon. I was like, God damn. Okay. Great. You know, but I, I kind of agree with y'all with the um, power broker uh, move, but I also like it. I'm, like I'm, I like I didn't hate it. It's just like I kind of yeah. wish there was like a little bit more like substance with it. Yeah. You know? Like right. like you could kind of see it probably being her and happening early right. on, but I just kind of wish there was more like you know just like all of a sudden I'm here goes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and the fact that you know when they explained it that it made sense that she's pissed off with the country that yeah threw her away. Oh yeah. Well, it threw me um, off because Zemo didn't he say he met the power broker and, they, and he told him about him. him. Yeah, yeah. But the beauty of it is the power broker in the comic books, that that was a mantle. You know, there was the original back during um, John Walker when he became Super Patriot. Mm -hmm. Then there there were three power brokers, you know, so that's why I was like, oh, the power broker is a mantle. It's not just one guy saying I'm the power broker. Which that that could be also why he said, yeah, I met him. Him. Right. Right. It could have met one guy. Sharon might have took it from you him. know it's been a few years now he was been in the yeah it, it's been some ages you know he was in jail then the blip and then boom 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 <laughs> you know so it's one of those things where um I think it's a I think it's gonna be um leading to armor wars mm-hmm. because like she said super soldiers are off the table now dude but once she but, started throwing out but I got all of this <laughs> I got a lot of tech and I got a lot of weapons you know that's why I'm like hmm and like you, you were the one who said it first. So I was like, mm, I think you're right. I yeah, mean, this geez. could go into Armor Wars where it's uh, where it's Rhodey yep. having to clean up the mess. But also, <laughs> love, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, one, once again, black man got to clean up white people mess. Because uh, <laughs> Armor Wars is supposed to really focus on the sins of Stark. Yeah, you know, and his tech is out there. And now that we kind of, I, I kind of feel it's Sharon's doing. Now it's like, okay, Feige said things are connected, people. So now yeah. we're connecting. So you know, we're truly connecting. We already knew Wanda was gonna connect to um, Doctor Strange. The we doctor, knew that, yeah. but now we're get, we're, we're seeing the gears cool. are, are are latching on. And also, what's her name's gonna be in uh, Black Widow? Um, uh, Contessa, yeah, Contessa mm-hmm. Valentina. Who, when I saw Julie, Lu- <laughs> Julia Louis Dreyfus, I was just like, Elaine. <laughs> but I hate Seinfeld, so I went veep. You know, say, speak, speaking of someone, you know, having a uh, 
a big career explosion again. Yeah, <laughs> Julia, Julia Louis Dreyfus, man. She, but she's such a great actor. Yeah, you know, she's great with comedy. She can handle drama. Um, I love her attitude in this show where she just shits on anyone and everyone, especially John's wife. You oh yeah, know, scoot over. You know, like every time her his uh, John's wife would say, "Who are you, John?" <laughs> I was like, "Damn, jeez, bitch, come on!" Like, wow. And if you don't know who Contessa Valentina, I can never say her whole name is in the comics. She is um, one of the many Madam Hydras. Mm -hmm. um, she was a Shield operative. Then she double crossed Shield. Then she double crosses Hydra. Then she <laughs> she <laughs> is the master of the quadruple, triple Lindy cross. Um, but there wow, were I've given you the quadruple loop, 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 right. cross. <laughs> um, but there were um a few other characters that took over the role of Madame Hydra. Um, one of them I do remember used to have a she was known as Viper, and she would one of her things was she had pit vipers and she throw snakes at your face and craziness. You know, <laughs> yeah. but she had a scar on her face as well. So um the re and things are kind of off because of Black Widow. She was supposed to make her appearance first in Black Widow, then show up in mm. Falcon and Winter Soldier. And now it's all it's vice versa, yeah. vice versa. And we're like, oh, she's in Black Widow, you know. But I, I think <laughs> it'll work though, because yeah. like, oh, look at that shit. There she is. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's gonna be one of those things. I thought the US agent thing was kind of comical where he's like, it's like my original suit. But yeah. black. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and props to Wide Russell, man. We don't, we don't need a Captain America. America. Sometimes we just need a US agent. US agent. <laughs> and if you don't know US agent, man, go in the comics, man. This is if the Punisher became Captain America. Okay. You know, because US agent, mm, the anti hero. The anti hero, yeah. but but really, are you anti hero? Is that what the Thunderbolts were anyway? They're kind of like no, the, for the people. The Thunderbolts um were the suicide marvel suicide squad but they weren't they fighting for the people just they didn't care how not really no um the original thunderbolts came during heroes reborn um during the onslaught <clears throat> onslaught run where um mm. onslaught took out the um the fantastic four the avengers um you know kind of and threw them into the heroes reborn universe and it's zemo who gathers um was it vapor um the beetle all these villains and turns them into the thunderbolts he was known as citizen v mm. and it, it 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 was just this craziness <laughs> like they were looking to turn a new leaf but in all honesty they had a ulterior motive you know but then it turned into the actual villains who were playing as superheroes really did like being superheroes. And they they liked the adulation. So they were like, ah, hey, screw you, uh, Zemo. <laughs> we're gonna be heroes. And Zemo, I think, commences to whip an ass and um it it they dissipate and then Ross brings them back and turns it into more of a suicide squad kind of team. Mm you know, where it was, I think, Absorbent Man, who was in the original, Beetle, who was in the original. Everybody came back, and then he added different parts of it. But also, it could be where the, the Thunderbolts are going to happen, but it could be the Dark Avengers kick in to where they're more of, we're going to do what we got to do to get shit done. Yeah. It's not villainy. It's more anti-hero, you know, and that's U, um, U.S. agent. You know, so it, it depends on where Marvel's really going to play this game, you know. Why don't they throw Vision in there? Because the, uh, Vision the is on, he's on a Vision quest right now. We yeah. got White Vision somewhere around the un the world just trying to yeah. find himself. So, yeah, like, like, like I think you were about to say, and we kind of went wherever, dude, Wyatt Russell, man. Like, yeah, <laughs> great actor. You know, he is the son of Kirk, man. So yeah. <laughs> he had to bring it. You know, he brought the chin and he brought it some great acting skill because yeah. people yeah. who hated John Walker, his job was done. He did oh, yeah. a marvelous job because he wasn't supposed to love John. You were supposed to say, that's not my Captain America. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you know? And 
to the folks, I will say this right quickly to the folks who are talking about, um, oh, Marvel's being so political, uh, racism and blah, this is not my captain and blase, blase to Sam. Bitch, pay attention to something. The character is named Captain America. Yeah. like It's going to get political. <laughs> the day the moment, excuse me, the moment Joe Simon put pen to paper and Jack the King Kirby put paint to paper and made Captain America Steve Rogers knock the shit out of Adolf Hitler, <laughs> it's political. Yeah, exactly. Get over yourselves. Stop with the, the Comics Gate crap. Stop with the social justice warrior berating. Fucking enjoy what Marvel's giving you because I guarantee you it's a hell of a lot better than Captain America eating yo play yogurt and doing fucking, um, hey guys, we're doing this for fun. <laughs> Sometimes reality bleeds into art because art bleeds into reality live with it and if not go watch the fucking snyder cut and leave us the fuck alone <laughs> to enjoy shit that was go back to your four hours yeah go back to your four hours of slow-mo you bitch <laughs> now nah, use bleep on that all right i'm done, <clears throat> I'm done. <laughs> so it's no longer the falcon and winter soldier it is now captain america and, and the winter soldier the captain um I loved his appearance, his 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 appearance with how he busts through the window <laughs> with the shell and you see the suit. Um the 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 carrying of Carly was a little cliched. Yeah. But it does ring to um Sam Wilson, Captain America, where he went and he landed in front of the cops uh with the wings out, the wingspan was out and in full glory. And he pretty much tells the world, I am Captain America. I will say his speech was dope as hell. Yes. I don't care how people felt about it. You know, the, the, the so-called comics, you know, comics people. I thought, I didn't think Marvel was going to do it. But when you saw Isaiah introduced in the show, Marvel yeah. had no choice. Because Malcolm Spellman is that kind of um, showrunner. He's that kind of writer where he's like, uh-uh, I'm putting all your business out. And when Sam was like, hey, there are going to be people who don't want me as Captain America. I feel them looking at me. I feel the looks. And I just went, they did it. Oh, yeah. They really did it. He knows what he's done. US agent gave him a nod. He yeah, kind of like, like, yeah, I he's say he point. actually, like, mm, yeah, you're yeah. right. Nobody wants a Negro Captain America. <laughs> 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 we ain't ready for that. We'll give you president, but a superhero? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. But what I loved about his speech was once he got that out, he went and put his boot to the powers that be's neck. And he didn't let, he didn't get off of it. Oh, yeah. And he knew they weren't going to listen to him. I mean, yeah. So he said, you know what? I'm going to just let it all out. F y'all. This was his no Vaseline to um, America. <laughs> he was Ice Cube. America was NWA. This was the no Vaseline moment. When yeah. he told him straight up, you can move borders with just your initial, with your signature. But the question is, you have the power to make banks fall. You have the power to build new nations. You can put these people up with the signing of a paper, with, the, with your autograph. But the question is, is when you do it, who's in the room with you when you do it? And I just wanted to do the don't be a menace to South Central message man. I wish Keenan Ivory Wayans would have just snuck in. Message. And then buck out. <laughs> but that would have made it so bad. But he I hit got him. these cheeseburgers, man. Got, man <laughs> no, 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 no cheeseburgers. But he hit the nail on the head, man. Like props to the writers in the writer's room to just say, you know what? 
I mean, the only thing that could stop us is Kevin Feige. And the only thing that could stop Kevin Feige is Disney. And I think Disney was like, no, nah, we got money. We're good. <laughs> Go for it. You know, can they, we do they it? Them, they let them all do it, man. They let them do it, man. And that's. I'm, and you know what? I, I, I freaking loved every minute. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I really wanted to yell, hey, DC Warner Brothers, this is how you let creators create. Now, that's the only time I'm going to stand up for uh, Zack Snyder. This is how you let creators create. And when they did it, I just went, I Kanye shrugged. And I kept it moving. Like you said, that, that whole kind of ending speech, Isaiah, yeah. Bucky, everything, all, yeah. all that, all that, all that, you know, the, the thug to your man, you know. The, and, <laughs> and, and going for Bucky, man, I'm, I'm kind of. my. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that they didn't show Yuri go off. Yeah. You know, because the way, just the look of him saying he was killed by the Winter Soldier and the Winter Soldier was me. And yeah. they went back to Yuri. I was like, man, you might have killed this 90 year old man. But then they show him in the, in the bar, which I thought was like, oh man, damn. You know, and he's, he's drinking say. his sake. And I think he finally, he was telling old girl, Mm -hmm. what happened you know because i think it was wednesday because remember they always get together on wednesday yeah and when Man, that's why he was walking up, by and and when he saw him he's like i don't think we're gonna have these wednesdays anymore yeah. you lost your friend i don't know if yuri's ever going to state and uh, and say i understand because you took his child so now you're going through exactly what Sam said. You were avenging. You weren't really looking for um, amends. You were just avenging. You know, props to them too, bringing back Sam, you know, because Sam, you know, in his, after his you know, military career, he, he was counseling a lot of these guys yeah. and everything. And props to them bringing all that in. And He's a, that's a true hero. Yeah. The counselor, you know, the person that, I, I think he, that's him being more Captain America than him having the suit and the shield. Yeah. You know, that's Captain America. That's the one that really, that, that, that's really going to fight. I mean, tooth you and saw nail. him, you know, helping Isaiah, helping, helping freaking Bucky, man, you know, yeah. like even, beautiful. even trying with like Carly and all them, you know, yeah. I mean, the the, the dude, <laughs> Even with Carly, I'm not I mean, falling shit. for your shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You dead now. You know. I mean, and now we know bullets can kill super soldiers kids. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's it, huh? I, I think we've basically wrapped Falcon in the Winter excuse me, Falcon in the Winter Soldier, which is now Captain in the Winter Soldier. Captain America in the Winter Soldier. And also they made the big announcement, Captain America 4. Yeah. It's coming with sam yep as cap and congratulations to malcolm spellman who is going to be the producer and writer of cap four he's gonna he's front running i don't know if he's gonna be a director um but he's gonna handle this you know so congratulations to him and his team congratulations to marvel um, those who are saying it's not as good as WandaVision, you're, you're, you're full of shit. It's, it's, it's not supposed to be. Right. It's spoiler. Favorite. Loki won't be either. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, kid. Loki will not have, you know, um, well, it might have some races, but I don't know, but it's not going to have much political themes. They're all different things. Yeah. Yes. E exactly. Like they, they're all supposed to be their own things. They're not right. going to be the same thing. Obviously. Exactly. Like, exactly Come on, bros. Like, <laughs> so it it was it was an event that i yes. it was an event that i was proud and happy to be a part of i mean i wasn't in the show but i was proud to be able to <laughs> you, see you it i saw it oh uh, well you know i was i was behind it's black yeah. falcon i was yeah. behind the old man <laughs> and i was the one that was supposed to say it's captain america but then i wasn't cute enough like yeah, the other guy yeah, who had the it phone happened. Yeah. it happens but you know um with that being said, I hope they do another season. This show deserves seasons. You know, this, this deserves a second season. I know Captain America 4 might be the second season, but I would love to see some things that happen in the downtown, downtime. And if not, I would love to see Tales of Madripoor. 
Mm. That would be fun. Um, you could introduce your mutants and your scoundrels and your villains. And, you know, it could be a villain based show. Um, but before we get off the uh, tape, the talk, the Marvel talk, we have to talk about Shang Chi. I was about to say mm -hmm. the, the Legend of the Ten Rings yep. trailer, which hit. They say it's a teaser. I'm calling it a trailer. Yeah, that, that's a that's a full trailer, man. Come that's on. a full trailer. Um, they had no choice because this movie is coming out in September, so they needed to start promoting yeah. this bad boy. Um, I'm gonna start with you, Dave. What you think? Does it make First you off, excited? We, you know, our boy it? from Kim's Convenience, man. You know, there you huh? go. Our, our boy from Kim's Convenience, man. Yeah, know? yeah. But no, first uh, trailer looked looked awesome. Looks like it's gonna be a lot of action, like mm -hmm. I don't know, story. I mean, I know it's gonna be with you know supposedly Mandarin Ten Ring, the real Mandarin, and the real Mandarin, <laughs> not Trevor Slattery, eh? well, I mean, which we, I still we, say is one of the best. Um, if you remember the um, troll moments of Marvel, it was a control moment. But if you ask, <laughs> what, what was that like a some little one shot video? You All know? hail the king! Yes, All like, hail the king! Like, and I'm blanking on the name. That's anyway. So you know the real Mandarin pissed, you know? Yeah, where well, he's like, nope. The boss wants to see you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm we'll, wondering. We'll see if we see that. Um, is Trevor Slattery going to yeah. make an appearance? <laughs> yeah. Is um Lord um is it Sir it really was the... Yeah, Ben Kingsley. Yeah, because you remember. See have you seen <laughs> All Hail the King? Um, Chris. Uh -uh. I think it's on YouTube. Um, I don't think Marvel said take it off. I think it's like what a 10, 15 minute something um, like that. It's not. It's movie. not long. Like. It's so good. It's funny. Um, I think it was attached to my, um, Thor, I th um, the Dark World. I think so. Okay. It was the it was the little movie that if you bought the DVDs or the Blu-ray of Thor, the Dark World, it was a part of that. Um, it, check it out because Justin Hammer's in it. Yep. Um, yep. Sam Rockwell makes a quick um, guest appearance. But it was Marvel's way of saying, oh, man, we better course correct real quick <laughs> with this Mandarin thing, because it pissed off a lot of people. But I thought it was actually I laughed. hilarious. Like, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. You know, because we caught the Mandarin on the toilet. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, yeah. Um, but overall, wait. though, trailer look cool. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's going to be fun. Looks like yeah. a lot of action. That's all I can really say right now, to be honest with you, just because... I, apart from that, like I've read nothing else about it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm trying to keep my. So I want, I want to see where they go. You know? Yeah, with fresh, with with a fresh outlook. Correct. You know, clean slate. Let's see where it goes. Because it's like you know, I kind of know about you know Shang Chi and everything. Yeah. But still, I I want to see what what they're doing. Like right. I don't want to read into what any other storyboards anything. I want I want to see where they go. Mm -hmm. Chris, your thoughts on the trailer? Did you see the trailer? Yeah, uh, I really don't know much about the character. Mm -hmm. I know very little about, you know, the Mandarin and the Tin Ring. So uh, it just looked like a fun trailer. So I'm curious to see you learn about it. And then, okay. I mean, it's a, they've alluded to like the Ten Rings and everything you know, since Iron Man 1. It was like, yeah. They, yeah. They, you know, the Ten Rings over... Was a terrorist group. Correct. Was a um, terrorist group. But if you're in the comic books, the Ten Rings um, are the Ten actual rings, rings of yeah. actual rings from uh, Makluan, um, <laughs> which has... Tech, I think it's like tech and um, sorcery. So tech and magic. Mm -hmm. And the Mandarin having those 10 rings, he can control the elements. He can control matter. He, he's just this badass, um, which was created to be he Mandarin. Can do badass shenanigans. Shenanigans. Mm -hmm. And I think the Mandarin was supposed to be Marvel's Fu Manchu. But then when they did um, Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, which was in the Marvel Spotlight comics of the, in the 70s, they got the rights to Fu Manchu and the characters, you know, of that story. Yeah. And Shang-Chi was, they, I guess they didn't want to say, hey, we got the Mandarin. Yeah, dude, y'all got the Mandarin, but no, we want Fu Manchu. Um, the man, I'm sorry. Shang-Chi is the son of Fu Manchu who was trained to become an assassin for him. I think they, they they don't have the rights to Fu Manchu's story or the characters based on it. Well, say if I'm not mistaken, I think he's he, now the son of the Mandarin. Correct. That's what I was gonna say. If I'm not mistaken, I, I at least know that. In this, yeah. he's the son of the Mandarin. Mandarin. 
And I think they're going to use the same kind of plot mm. plot beats to go with that, where he mm. might be on a mission and then come to find out, oh, my dad's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I have to fight Pops. So, um, my dad is not a good dad. Yeah, you know, and I mean, it was made during the um, Kung Fu uh, movie boom of the 70s when um, End of the Dragon became the hit. Uh, Marvel was like, okay, we got to make something. We got to jump on this um, thing. And they created Shang-Chi. Um, it was a problematic situation because the old prints, if you watch, if you read them now, you'll be like, ooh, because yeah, you can- Shang-Chi <laughs> was yellow. I was about to say, um, uh, oh, damn. Yeah, they, you know, because Chinaman, yellow. Yeah, um, yeah. And Fu Manchu was very... Um, Oh, uh, hero propaganda kind of thing, yeah. Well, no, not in his language, but in his look. No, um, I, I mean just like in general, right. kind of. Yeah. It was very um, propagandish with um, exaggerated, and stuff. exaggerated, yeah. Yeah. Um, and he had fangs and pointy ears, um, yeah. which was from the World War Two uh, propaganda of uh, the Japanese, where they had the the fangs and the, the you know. Yeah, it didn't I mean, have the slanted. Like the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't as derogatory, but that was derogatory. You know, it, it would cause problems today. Yeah, exactly. That was how um in the books, Fu Manchu, not in just Shang-Chi, but in the actual novels, um, that's how he was described, you know, because he was also like a um a, a, a master of mysticism as well, because he was taking this elixir to keep himself young. Yeah, you know, I think Fu Manchu was probably like hundreds of years old, you know. And now, um, Shang Chi is just a badass. Um, yeah, he was a part of the agents of part, Wakanda. He, he part of like Heroes for Hire and stuff. Heroes too, for Hire. Yeah. Um, now I, I would love to see a better Iron Fist, but maybe not Danny Rand. Yeah, you know, maybe go back in um into the old days. Not even Orson Card. I think it was Orson Card who was Iron Fist as well, um, or maybe just no Iron Fist at all. But I think Shang Chi is gonna be kind of brings me back to my childhood of watching the old Shaw Brothers films, the Golden Harvest films. Um, it's not gonna have the bad dubbing, but I think it's gonna be. <laughs> The action looks really good. I mean, you got Aquafina in it. I love Aquafina. I would say, yeah. Not yeah. the water, but the actor, the comedian. Um, Why don't you love the water? Uh, <laughs> dude, Aquafina is piss in a bottle. Um, yeah, I said it. Sorry. I think Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi. Well, that he was that sponsored. Yep. Oh, well, <laughs> no. Anthony, you no. called our bottle water piss <laughs> because it is. Do something better, Pepsi. Um. But yeah, I, I think it's going to be a fun, a really fun movie. I think it's going to connect to some other things. Um, the Ten Rings themselves, is it going to be the Rings of Makluan where now you go into space tech and magic? We don't know. But yeah, it they're, looks they're like very... It. <laughs> Infinity Wars. They're very quiet. <laughs> yeah. They're very quiet on that. They're very so. quiet. So um, I think that's going to connect even more into... I want to say maybe this is where I would like a Tales from Madripoor because I think Shang-Chi would be a nice little jump off yeah. from Madripoor. Like, you know, even with um, Captain America and Winter Soldier. And I, I, I don't know. I, I would love to see how Marvel's going to connect everything, you know, because you putting the Mandarin connects to the Iron Man films. Yep. You're going, if you're going to use the whole science tech with the rings, you can go into space. So that's kind of a um, a Guardians. But I think with the Makluan rings, that may even connect into the the Eternals, which we still that's haven't what I was seen the trailer for that as well. Because now you're in space. I, I don't know. We're, we're, you're right. I mean, it's it's hard to say. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. And, I'm excited. It, 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 it looks cool. I'm excited. Yeah. And two, two, two final things to it. Um, I really did love the double punch, double jump kick, like the jump kick that knocked the two guys out. Yes. I'm like, wow, Sam Olu, good job. <laughs> but also, Sam Olu, once you leave that Marvel money, if they, if some director, some uh, studio has played Sleeping Dogs and says, man, I would love to make a movie out of Sleeping Dogs, there's your Wei Shin. <laughs> that dude looks like Wei Shin. 
you're you know, pretty great. Or Lewis there. Tan. Yeah. Either one of those guys would be a perfect way, Shin, if they did a Sleeping Dogs movie. Or I think it's time for a Sleeping Dogs sequel. That's just me. So, ladies just and gentlemen. Out there. Yep. That is the end of Mighty Marvel TV Talk. Also, make sure you check out Modoc that comes out um, May 21st. On yeah, the, uh, the Hulu. On the Hulu. That's going to be um, a mature Marvel animated series. Hmm. So let's see how crazy I'm, I'm saying this is Robot Chicken meets Marvel. So yeah. if, if you're going to do it with anyone, yeah, Mod- Modoc sounds about right. Modoc is the one. <laughs> George, your brain is going to do wonders because he has the big head already. So I think it's going to be cute. All right. So we are done with Mighty Marvel uh, TV talk, which is always our longest segment. Why? Because Marvel is awesome. Screw you guys. Um, (laughs) Now we come to the closing where I like to ask, what do you want? What are you playing? What are you watching? I'm going to (laughs) dump. What are you reading? Because I haven't been reading anything as well. So David actually has something this time. David has something. Okay. So we're going to start with Dave then. And look, look, Dave. Look, look, I'm reading for once, man. Look. <laughs> ah, ask I want to. Okay. Yep. All you right. know, our, what are you our reading? Former, our former Nintendo, you know, legendary oh, CEO yeah. there. They finally published this in English. Nice. You know, courtesy of Viz and everything. Well, but, leave it to Viz. Yeah, man. It's, um, it's pretty awesome, man. You get some insight into the man. The That's myth, awesome. the, leg, the legend, the Nintendo legend, you know? right? The the Howl Laboratory legend, you know. Now, so, am I crazy? It's pretty cool. He's still alive, or did he pass? He passed away. He passed uh, away. Okay, he's the one that passed. Okay. 20, 20, 20, 13, 2014? if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But yeah, man, cool, cool little read, you know. Yeah, I I love. Was it good? Was he it, was at least, at least from all I'm hearing, reading everything, seemed like a pretty, pretty stand up guy, you know. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it, it reading some of his quotes, some of his insights, yeah. it's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to check that out, man. Because so. when you think of Nintendo, I mean, you think of uh, Howard Phillips from the old Nintendo days. You think of Reggie fils me You think of yep. Shigeru Miyamoto, mm-hmm. and you also think of Iwata because his intros to um, his E3s. And his Nintendo Directs and whatever. His Nintendo were, Directs too, man. Those were... He, I, think there's one I just wanted to dude, hug him. The, the dude just stared at it like randomly. Just It starts and he's looking at a banana. Just like... <laughs> it's like, what is it? And yeah, like apparently he was, apparently he was known for kind of like like some awkward comedy like that. Though. Yeah. Just like... Hmm. You know? <laughs> so yeah, definitely people. Check out Ask Iwata. So yeah, that, that so actually yeah, actually yeah. actually using the noggin for once and reading, you know, reading. Uh, you know uh, other stuff apart from my usual shenanigans like you know all, all the manga and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as playing, man, I'm still on the Outriders. You know, it's still having Oof. fun. You know, being my Devastator man. Bang bang bang. You know what is your punch? Devastator name? Big Give it to him. Big punch. <laughs> Big punch. <laughs> Wait, you changed the name? Is Big Punch I now? Call, I call him Big Punch because I mean that's okay. all he does, you know. Because that's it. But I can't remember what I actually did. But Big Punch is what I call him. Oh, okay. All you right. Know. I have a More. simple pyromancer named Aria. I, I was just like, okay, I'm done. No, it'd be Big Punch. Big Punch. No, I use this. I use the same the same name for everything, like character wise. Skaven, you know. <laughs> Skaven. My username is Skaven. Gotcha. You know? Gotcha. My but pyromancer anyway, is a black woman who takes no shit. <laughs> I, 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 like I said, I resorted to call him Big Punch, man, you mm-hmm. know, because that's what he do. Nice. And then, you know, watching, you know, look, we, we, we discussed what we were all watching, like mm-hmm. the Falcon Winter Soldier, you know, uh, the My Hero Academia is back, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, even though I'm way ahead of all, I still like to watch, you know. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's all I got right now, you know. Okay. And then Ooh. I still got to check out, probably later today, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Nice. Chris, what are you playing? What are you watching? All right. So uh, I am playing Outriders, mm-hmm. like you guys. Got me a Technomancer. Uh, I've been playing another game called Dungeon 3. It's kind of like the old uh, the old Dungeon Master games where you, you control a dungeon. You have little minions that fight for you. They dig your gold. Mm-hmm. You build rooms. And you just nice. kill anybody that comes in your dungeon to try to steal your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, nice. it's kind of like the evil version of the... the those heroic tales. Uh, okay. Um, also, I want to say if anybody has a PC, David, uh, Epic Games is giving away a game called Hand of Fate 2. It's a really fun game if you like cards and, you know, 
Okay. You build your map with cards and it, it's like a roguelike. So when you die, you can add more cards to make your journey easier. Mm. Uh, so that's a really cool game. Uh, as far as watching, I need to start watching The Boys Season 2. Okay. Uh, yeah, because Season 3 is coming. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm mainly a movie guy. So the last two movies I watched was like uh, mid-90s. Okay. Uh, is that directed... the one with um, um, Elliot Page? Uh, no, this is the one that directed by Jonah Hill. Oh, about Jonah Hill. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, about the kids with the skateboarding yes. and all of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really liked yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Really enjoyed it. And the other okay. one was Fighting with the Family. Uh, that's the one with Elliot Page. That's the what? one with, uh, about Page from uh, WWE. Oh, okay. So you don't have to See, be a wrestling I... fan to watch it, but it's it's really, really good. Okay. And what's the name of it? Uh, Fighting with My Family. Okay. What was the movie you had posted? And I said Elliot Page looked like she was doing, um, he was doing um his best silent bob cosplay i think oh. it was that one it was that one it <laughs> was fighting with, the fighting with my family okay <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to check it out man because um yeah i remember she was she had a movie and i just yeah. I knew um page the wrestler had a movie i just didn't know i forgot the name of it and, and the rock pushed for it. uh the rock okay. actually in the movie and like his, he comes from a wrestling family as well right so it's kind of like it plays a part into the movie as well okay Awesome. So those are some great ones. Um, as for me, I'm playing the Outriders. I'm going heavy. I'm going crazy. Uh, I am a pyromancer. I have reached level 30. I have reached world tier 15. I have not ended. I haven't finished the story mode. So I'm going to be playing that. Um, I'm going to jump in other people's games randomly just for shits and giggles and be like, pew, 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 and then jump out. Bros, pew. <laughs> you know, hey, I got your world tier. Good luck. Um, also I'm still playing Hades, man. I cannot beat that first boss. So I am dying constantly. And plus I'm playing it on the switch, but as a handheld. Yeah. So I need to really put it on my TV so I could get at it. Um, as for watching, I'm watch Captain America and the Winter Soldier. I've watched, uh, Mortal Kombat. I've watched, uh, King Kong versus Godzilla. I watched them on Amazon and I'm going to be doing a little um, round table talk about that soon. Nice. Uh, but I highly recommend you check out Invincible on Amazon. If you read the comic book, the animation. Uh, still be there, yeah. Yeah, Many I, people have told, and I, I really need to sit down and watch. And now you're another yeah. one that's like, hey. I thought it was like the John Cena movie. It's like, oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> There's no Cena in this. Um, it is based on the Robert Kirkman um, comic Invincible, which is just this pop, not as popular. I, I want to say to comic fans, it's just as popular as The Walking Dead to um, the pop culture fans. Not as much, but I think because of this animation, it will be um, definitely check it out. Uh, my nephew's losing his mind right now. So if you hear <laughs> screeching, um, that's him. Please give him a lollipop so he can shush. Good time to lose his um, mind. We're, we're wrapping it up. <laughs> yeah, he needs to calm down. But um, also check out that. And um, as for what I'm reading, I haven't been reading much. So plant, we're done. I'm like Chris. It's literacy, just David. So suck us. Just David. David is, he is literate. He is literally strong. So with that screaming in the background, I guess it's time we're going to wrap things up. So <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this was episode eight of the geek table talk i really want to thank y'all for watching um as usual if you're new to this and this is your first episode please hit that red subscribe button it's only going to take a second um give us a blue thumbs up especially for the screaming because i am not losing focus can you hear him yeah you can hear him so blue thumbs up blue thumbs are cool ring the bell turn your notifications to all so you'll be notified, hopefully without any children crying, with new episodes of Geek Table Talk, as well as movie reviews, game reviews, as well as gameplay um, stuff, will come on to the YouTube channel. The Road to 1000 is still going. Thank you once again to the 486 subscribers. I love you all dearly. Um, I am doing the contest, which is the pit stop, where get me the $550 gift certificate to a random winner. In order to do it, you have to be subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment on any of the videos, any of the videos. So comments that are already there are eligible. New comments will be eligible as well. You will win a $50 gift certificate. Oh, my goodness. Shush your face, kid. <laughs> he just All lost right. to the, the boss at Hades. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably playing Hades and he's <laughs> so pissed right now. I died again. <laughs> so... 
Ladies and gentlemen, episode eight has come to a close. Thank you. You know where you can find me at Matt at Madness3030 on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, we're still in a pandemic. So wash your hands, wash your feet, wash your ass, wear a mask, get vaccinated. If you feel comfortable with getting vaccinated, if not, please keep a mask on. We don't want any more casualties. <sighs> You see, I'm, I'm really, really trying to be positive here. So until next time, thank you, David. Mr. David Wilte, Mr. Fish Shaker, get off of his lawn, you silly children. You damn kids. <laughs> and to, stop knocking. And to, <laughs> Mr., to Chris McNabb, my geeks in arms, my brothers, my friends, I appreciate y'all once again for joining me. And once again, thank you for watching. <sighs> Until next time, <laughs> stay geeky. I'm going to go correct the kid. He's only two, so I can't spank him, but he's going to get a, a really stern finger point. <laughs> the, the wag. Yes, he'll get the finger wag. All right, y'all. So until next time, be safe, stay geeky. We're out.